Um, so my name's Syrah. I'm 19. I'm a watch engineer for Verizon. Woo! Thank you. Thank you. And today's actually my six month anniversary of starting the job. So. <laughs> exactly. I made it. So I'm still here. Um, it's definitely been an interesting road, I think, going through everything. And I really want to emphasize specifically being a female and doing all this because you like like you said you know it, it's in demand and the thing is like you don't see that it's very rare and you know you're having a conversation with someone they ask you oh you know what do you do and you tell them you're an engineer they kind of they kind of look at you a little you know they look at you a little sideways they're like what do you mean you're an engineer you know how many times i've gotten like contractors coming to the building and they're like so who run, right who runs the building and i'm like well you're looking at her and they're like no 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 seriously and i'm like no seriously like it's <laughs> Um, so it's definitely like, it's a shock to them, it's a shock to me as well. Um, but yeah, like my brother said, you know, all throughout childhood and uh, middle school, there was a huge emphasis on working with your hands and being like self-sufficient, which I really appreciate because especially in this age, I think a lot of people rely on like, like my dad said, buttons, like, you know, you push a button, like the people rely on others. And it's like, we were sort of taught to be hyper independent in a sense. And that's really when you get things done is when you kind of tell yourself, you know, all right, I got to fix this. And it's like, this is going to be my problem and I'm going to do it. Um, I think, yeah, a lot of that, and that's where motivation really comes in is like when you're sort of raised with like the self-sufficient mindset and like, okay, how do I establish a future for myself where it's like, I won't be dependent on a man or I won't be dependent on, you know, my parents for the rest of my life or even just in debt. You know, I have friends that are like, they pay like, they shell out 80,000 a semester for college. And it's a like semester? a semester. I've got friends going to Yale and like all these like big name schools and like, that's great for them. But you know, for what, three months and you're coming out of that with like a hundred thousand, it's just, it's, I knew that wasn't the path for me, even just hearing that. Um, and I think, I think that's where a lot of the challenges come in too, is with like the comparison. Um, a lot of my friends would try to relate to the stuff that I'm doing or I would try to relate to what they're doing and it just there was there was just such a disconnect because it's like I would be in college like on my laptop on the simulator and it's like you know this one's kind of like slacking off and like oh I don't want to do anything and it's like it's like god like I wish I had your problems you know I wish I had just that thing that I had to do but no I gotta you know work on my license I gotta make something for myself it feels good though it feels good to you know look back on all the work that you've done really like every day I go to my job and I'm like, wow, I'm an engineer. Like, how is that possible? You know, I don't believe it myself. So it's, it was definitely um, a long, I'm still on it. Like my brother said, like, I don't even know the effects that this is going to have on my future. Like I, I could sit here and lie and say, you know, I'm successful and I did it for myself, but I don't even know. I don't even know. Like 20 years down the line, I don't know where I'll be, but I just know that I helped myself out. So.